Hello everyone and welcome to another Geometry Dash video, and in this video I'll be showing all of you how to build like Lemons. Lemons is a creator who rose to fame in early 2.0 making generic levels, but he's definitely focused more on quality later on. He also has a channel where he uploads Let's Plays and currently has 52,000 subscribers. His levels all have a similar style to them and that's what I'm going to show you today. So let's get started with the gameplay. Currently a typical Lemons level is an easy demon, but there are exceptions, but for the sake of this video we're going to make it an easy demon. We're going to make the song one of Lemon's songs because Lemon's produces music, so I guess it's worth taking advantage of. I use the song Terminal Velocity because in my opinion at least, it's his best song. So all of Lemon's titles are pretty different, so I'm just going to put Terminal and Velocity in Thesaurus. So first off, Terminal... Uh, Fatal will work. And then Velocity... Uh, Momentum. Fatal Momentum. That's what we're going to name our level. Fatal Momentum. So the beginning always has to start off with a cube and halfway into the cube. I'll turn into a mini cube. And make sure you have some part that includes these small blocks because I've noticed it in Lemon's levels. Because we're not at the drop yet, I'll turn into a robot. A after the cube and robot, we'll have a ship section and then we'll go right into 4 times speed. After that, we will put a ball at 3 times speed. I'm pretty much making each part 4 measures in this song, and each section of the song has 8 measures, so that's basically how I determine the length of each section, if you're wondering. But Lemon's normally changes game modes quicker. Next up is a spider at 4 times speed and then a UFO at 3 times speed. Next up is the wave. Like Dancemen, Lemons always adds in a difficult wave for some reason, or maybe it's just because I'm bad at the game, I don't know. Okay, this is way too difficult. We must pull out our nerf gun and nerf this wave. Okay, that's much better. I made the next part a cube, then a ship, and a ball, because I'm kind of out of game modes. And lastly is the unnecessarily annoying duel section. I don't want to explain how to do all of this, but if you want to make a good asymmetric duel, I would just put a jump pad on one of the cubes and then let the duel unfold from there. In the middle, I switched one of the cubes to a ball, and then made both of them waves. That's pretty much it for all the gameplay. So, as you can see here, these are some commonly used blocks that are used in Lemon's levels. But after looking at this, I don't really see him using any of the 1.9 connector blocks. He commonly uses the others though. I don't think the actual blocks matter on whether you look like Lemon's or not. First of all, you must pulse the background, because color in my opinion is half of the decoration, and the main reason why Dansman is such a good creator, so we must pulse the background and pulse the outlines. We don't have to be as drastic with the color as Dansman does in his levels, but enough for it to be noticed. So first, we must fill in all of our block designs with blocks that are either some variant of the background color, which in this case I picked purple or just black. For the actual design, we're adding in bricks and connector pieces from 2.0 because Lemons uses them frequently. We can also add stuff on top of the blocks, grass in our case. But for me, isn't this exactly like the Dansman tutorial? I mean, everything looks pretty similar. No! Add in some 3D blocks to every block and then fill them in with either black or some other color depending on what plane you're in. That way the blocks actually look 3D. Also, never forget the glow, because we all know the amount of glow determines how good a level is. Much glow. No one needs this much glow. All it does is make your level lag. Like, come on. Now, we have to decorate the ground. Lemons always uses moving monsters introduced in 2.0. You know, the monsters that try to start the invasion, but ultimately failed after the people stopped making crafty boss fights in 2.0. Oh, and also, where there's one monster, there's always a friend next to it. Lemons even said it himself. He's gotta have a friend, like, you can't just leave him alone in a level. Now, for the most important part, the air deco. I'm not even joking when I say this, you can get away with using only layered rotating objects, or at least round objects as air deco. Normally, you got your gears, your arrows, and some other subtle air deco. So for gears, I will layer a gear with hexagon and another rotating object. I'll add some pulsing circles with glow behind them, and of course we must spam arrows everywhere because after all, this is a lemon style level. Also, I will put random objects on our orbs. Next up is our robot section. I was originally going to make the background yellow because it's lemon style, and lemons are yellow, but yellow is an ugly color, so I'll use green instead because... limes. Oh no! Pretty much everything after the first part is the same idea, only with different blocks. For our block design, we can use these metal blocks, but make them transparent, and then put connectors on the inside. We have pretty much the same idea with everything else, except I'll add a smaller layer of white spikes, along with some decorative ones on the ground instead of monsters, and we can add some clouds and 2.0 connector pieces on the outside. Also, we must put in a custom background to fill in the empty spaces, so we'll just add on some ramps. So, for our ship section, we'll add small blocks on the edge of our block design, and then we can just scribble the inside of the blocks. Of course, we'll add in some 3D because 3D is important. I made some more gears and I copied and pasted them in the ship part. Make sure some of the gear sizes are different to make everyone think that you actually did something. The arrows in this part are just four triangles with glow, and then add some connector pieces coming from the ground. For a background, we can just spam glow pillars and add blending and then make them move right slowly. Lemons even said it himself in his custom backgrounds video. 
I did this decoration with a small ball part as well, the only difference being another arrow because I didn't like the four arrows in the ship section. I would also suggest to make your slopes black with nothing else, but just the slopes. So for the next section, I will make a blue and a lighter blue. I personally don't like this color combination, but Lemons made a whole level with this, so it has to be good. So for this block design, I'll have an outer shell, which will be these blocks which I'm placing right now, and then something darker on the inside. In this case, I'll add in these 2.0 connector pieces again, with a larger variant that no one uses, and then I'll fill it in with blue. Then I'll use bricks with small dots that people use for some reason. And also, we must never forget the glow. Next up, we will use squares on top of the block design and move them around. I'm doing this just because I saw it in Paroxysm. For Air Deco, I'm just using arrows, just spam arrows all over the place because you're making a lemon style level. I also added 3D on all the blocks. For the custom background, we will just use ramps because it's easy. I'm basically doing the same idea with the UFO section, only I'll be using these diamonds on most of the blocks and then the bricks on the outside. Also, Lemons tends to use these spike circles, and if you want to know how to do that, just take what you're seeing right here, copy and paste it, rotate it a little bit, and then repeat this process. So for this wave, I'm using an orange and blue color combination. For the interior of the wave, we can make it black and then use an outline. From there, we can put in some metal slopes, and I basically ripped off Anoxism because Anoxism so far has the same thing. For the rest of our slope design, we can make it a darker variant of the background, and then put some glow on top of it. As with every section, we need arrows, so along with the air deco, Lemons also likes rotating backgrounds, so I made the outside using 3D blocks and rotating them, then I added glow inside of them. For the inside, I just added two rotating objects, and then some blended glow. And if you wanted to know where this came from, I pretty much ripped off orange juice. Next section is pretty much a continuation of the wave, so I used the same metal blocks on top of each design, then added two different types of blocks inside the rest of the design. The air deco was somewhat different, the gears and arrows and the ground decoration was different, but I don't want to explain it and I think this will be 10 minutes anyways. So if you've seen Lemon's levels, there are certain levels that are based off of Rob Top levels. He did a knock'em style tutorial a while ago and he put some of those elements in his level Smash Down. He also said that Geometrical Dominator is his favorite Rob Top level, which I have to greatly disagree with. So we'll have to make the first part of the duel based off of the knock'em and the second part Geometrical Dominator slash Geometrical Dimension style because they're basically the same level. <laughs> I literally just noticed right now that this whole video is a lemons roasting session. So I'm making the blocks based off of the knock'em style, and I don't want to explain it too much, but it's basically solid color blocks layered with metal blocks, both the same color as the background. If you want to know how to do this style more in depth, then just look at lemons knock'em tutorial. The spikes are also different, you must use the square ones and then put an outline glow in particles. There isn't much air deco in the knock'em style, so I'm just putting in some arrows. I will also put in some glow both outside and inside of the blocks. That's just for the first part, and the second will be the geometrical dominator style. So for the cube and ball part, I will use grass blocks with the ground interior. Actually, I changed my mind. I'll make it a brighter version of the background. I will make these gray blocks 3D because they were 3D in geometrical dimension. We also must add these gray grass blocks and then make it so they connect the block designs just like geometrical dimension. We will add gears and clouds to fill in the empty spaces. For the last wave, we will use brick blocks for the whole thing, and then we will use glow all around the blocks. And just a bit of a side note, why does it have to be impossible to add glow around 30 degree slopes? Like this is mildly infuriating. Because the blocks are just bricks and there isn't much air deco in geometrical dimension, I'll just spam arrows and clouds because I'm out of ideas. And for the background, I'm making it these rotating grass blocks because that was also a background in geometrical dimension, and that's the whole level. Let's see the final result.
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This took me a long time to make, so a like is much appreciated. I know my voiceovers sound terrible because I have a sore throat right now, and it's hard for me to talk normally. Also, thank you guys for your recent support despite the fact that I haven't uploaded in a month. The 20,000 subscriber special will be a non-GD video, but I doubt it'll disappoint any of you guys. I don't want to say what it is, so all I'm going to say is that it's about memes. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and make sure to leave a like if you're interested in my content, subscribe to my channel, and as always, this is GD Floroni signing out.